Hey, yo, what's up? You know what it is? It's the one and the only Pastor L live in the synagogue. Hey, yo, I'd like to welcome you guys back to another in style, man. A trip of the guys be so Come on, get y'all asses up in here. Get y'all asses up, man. It's church, man. I know, man. Another late sermon, but still, I got to preach this good word of these delivered L's and to deliver you from these L's. Come in, my children. Come in, my sheep. Come sit down, because we about to have some preach, some church, and some tabernacle up in here. Yo, congregation, can I get an amen? Amen! So, come on, bring y'all asses up in here, man. Leave your money in the collection place come sit down man the one and the only pastor l got exactly what you need because yo uchu sit tight q ranger episode number what episode number is this let me think for a second number 23 i knew that ass i was just stalling number 23 and yo this was a great episode and i'm like when i get to the end of doing my storytelling and everything i got some stuff i want to share but right now Y'all want to y'all wanna recap of this episode, or more like, y'all want the one and the only to tell you how it really went down, like for real, what you didn't see. So, what did you see that you didn't see? Yo, we start our episode like kind of where we left the last one with this magical question of, how the fuck is John Donald Mike still breathing? If allegedly, Birdman whooped his ass like he claimed he whooped his ass, why is Dark Matter the nigga still around? Now, at the end of the last episode, I had a couple of theories that Don Armage is just somebody who is somebody that Birdman know that may have taken on the mantle of Don Armage just to be like, fucking, I'm going to take the universe for myself, but I won't do it and then toward the end of the season, it'll be a big giant reveal and things like that. That's just my running theory right now, given given the information that, that at this point that I would have had. And, you know, as we get into the episode, a lot of that is going to, you know, it's going to go some different ways, but that's just where my head was. Then. At least that's what my notes say. So yeah, that's what my head was. So it's like, yo, how are we gonna solve this mystery? Says Raptor Bay, because Raptor is Bay, and we had a discussion about how close he's getting to him. I'm at the, I'm at the what Birdman ass. He keep playing with my pussy. Anyway, so Birdman, like, yo, you wanna know how we gonna solve this problem? We finna take over public television. PBS, bitch, drunk matter the niggas, man, you want to watch some Sesame Street, you want to watch some other, some Caillou, nigga, some Dragon Tales, hell no, nah. we finna watch Birdman television, we finna watch Birdman television, so we finna go take over this TV station, y'all down, well, of course y'all down, cause y'all fucking with your boy, so don't y'all come on, we gonna go take over this TV station. Meanwhile, we up here with Don Armand, aka Drunk matter the nigga, and these niggas, and they like, yo, like, from from the way that this scene went down, it seemed like Don Armaga is, like, legitimately fucking shook. Like, the thing is, is that what I appreciate about Don Armaga being legit shook about Birdman being in the picture is that it gives him, it gives him fallibility as a villain to be like, well, I'm, I'm all seeing, I'm all coming, I'm all going, I'm all these things. But there is a thing that legitimately scares me, and it's this dude's existence. All the best villains have somewhat, a little bit, and in varying degrees of that fallibility that gives them something, a reason why I need to think about this a little bit more, or in some cases not think at all, because some villains are just written like dumbasses. That's just how media works. But there are, but if you look at some of the best villains ever. They have a little fallibility that they know that they can possibly be beaten by this motherfucker right here. So, I gotta do whatever it takes to get this chess piece off the board. We talk about this in this other show that I reviewed, but see, we're bringing it all together. But, but, but Don Omar ain't like, yo, hey, yo, that nigga back, and I can't deal with this shit, go get this fool. The first who st- the first one who steps up is Tetsu, like, yo, i handle that for you, fam. I got you, my nigga, man. I'm going to go whoop his ass real quick. I'll be back. Hey, y'all want some chicken while I'm gone? Like, like I was thinking about tacos. Y'all want tacos? Because I really want some tacos. Some attack. You know what? I'm just going to I'm just gonna whoop his ass. And I'm going to go to a whole bunch of places. I'll just bring back a grab bag full of shit. And y'all get what y'all want, man. But I'll holler at y'all in a minute, man. So, meanwhile, we are, we, we are my uncle. And, and, and the squad sitting up here talking about, yo, Yo, that nigga Birdman, the truth, that nigga Birdman, the truth, like, yo, man, I'm like, yo, I'm like, we didn't believe, but we kind of believe now, y'all get this burger, man, fuck that bitch ass nigga, he ain't shit, 
All he do is run around and this mom, legend this, legend that, he a bitch. And when I see him next time on my mama, it's on sight, I'm going to whoop his ass. You don't mean that. No, yeah, I do. On my mama on sight, I'm going to whoop his ass. On my dad mama, I'm going I'm to whoop his ass, nigga. I'm going to burn him up like they burnt up my hood, nigga. I'm going to whoop her man ass when I see him, nigga. I'm going to whoop his ass, nigga. I'm going to whoop his ass. Hey, yo, yo, let me calm down, let me calm down, let me calm down. Oh, oh, hey, hey, yo, JJ, I ain't know you was that little cuz. I ain't know you was that little cuz. I'm sorry. I didn't, I didn't need you to really hear that that's what I was feeling right now, but it's fuck that nigga Japanese Justin. I just swear on my mama. It's just fuck that nigga, dog. He a bitch, and I do not like his ass. What you want? Oh, I got a phone call? From who? Oh, 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 balance and moo-moo, man? What them niggas want? Hello? Hi, Lucky, what's up, cuz? Um, we need your help. You need my help with. I'm like your girlfriend. She won't talk to us. She'll only talk to you. Like we tried to go down there and talk to her, and she smacked me in the fucking face. Cause I don't appreciate that shit. When I see that bitch, I'm gonna cut her in the fucking mouth. Cause don't nobody touch my robot shit. Cause I swear to God, I swear to God, that bitch smacked me. I got a, like a mark on my fucking face. Cause I don't appreciate that shit, fam. I need you to handle that shit. Cause either you get your bitch in line or I do it myself. You feel me? Hey, nigga, all I did was fuck her one or two times, nigga. That ain't my bitch, cause. But I'm like, yo. We can deal with this later. You, we can deal with this later. You know what I'm saying? Like, if she want to rap with a nigga, I'm like, it's a reason why I call a bitch back. I'm like, the pussy was good, but the bitch, she just too clean, and I can't deal with that right now. We trying to say the earth. It's like, after we say the earth, nigga, I can spend the night on the planet or whatever, but right fucking now, it's fuck Birdman, it's fuck Don Armaga, it's fuck Jark Matter, that's what we need to stick to, that's the fucking, fucking plant. So, Here's what it is simple. If you find a bitch, I talk to her, but it's fuck Birdman, it's fuck Drunk Matter the nigga, it's fuck John Armaga, and it's fuck Birdman. See, it's, it's fuck everything so hard I had to say it fucking twice to repeat it. It's fuck all ass. I have no time to fucking deal with this shit. Alright? Alright, cool, my nigga. I, I, if we find a bitch, man, we'll, we'll call you back. Fucking get on my nerve, dog. I'm like, if it ain't this, if it ain't this bitch ass nigga bird man, it's fucking Don Omega, yo bitch ass. And if it ain't his motherfucking ass, it's this bitch Eris always fucking calling me and shit. This motherfucking shit get on my neck. What up, Raptor Bay? Turn on the TV. What's on TV, bitch? Hey, yo, what's up, niggas? Birdman in the motherfucking building. What my name is? Birdman. Yo, I. Yo, what's up? Birdman in the building. Hey, yo, let me rap with y'all. Let me, let me rap with y'all, universe. Let me rap with y'all. All right. My name is Otori Sarugi, right? That's me. That's me. Like, it's like, I'm, it's like ass Ashley, but it's, 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 I, it's fuck with Birdman. That's me. That's me. I fucked up down on my head. That was me. I whooped that nigga ass, like, forever ago. Whooped his ass, right? I put in mad work for years, nigga. Like back in the day, before y'all, when y'all, when y'all wasn't even tossing your daddy's nutsack, I was putting in this motherfucking work. That's me. Bird man. What what happened to that Don Almaghe nigga? I walked up to him, nigga, and put a slash into that boy. That was me. I did that. So this is what I need y'all to do. I need the whole universe to bow down, kiss the ring, kiss the ring. I'm like, I whooped his ass. I'm the greatest of all time. I murked that nigga. Put a slash into that door. I'm Birdman, bitch. Bow down. Kiss the motherfucking ring. Cause what my name is, Birdman. So, that's it for now. I'm, I'm going to send y'all back to y'all episode of Arthur. But remember, I'm the nigga who killed Don on my game. Kiss the fucking ring. Bow down. What my name is, Birdman. That's me. So, it is what it is. I holler at you niggas. Peace out. What the fuck? The fuck is this shit? Man, oh, this nigga get on my nerves. This nigga get on my nerves. Nigga get on my nerves. I hurt this nigga. I hurt this man. I tell you when I see him on my dead mama burning in hell, I'ma whoop his ass. I, I hate to interrupt whatever the fuck you got going on over there, dude. But if you notice, right? He down there at the TV station and there's people in the TV station. So this is what I'm going to need you motherfuckers to do. Get down to the to the place on the earth and say to people,
Because, see, if it ain't no people, we ain't got nobody to sell lean to. And by the way, while you down there, get that motherfucking recipe for that motherfucking rainbow lean while you down there. That nigga promised that shit like weeks ago, and that nigga still ain't delivered, bruh. Get my recipe for my purple lean. Do it now. Just do this shit. I, I have no time. Just go get my, go get my lean. Whatever. Nigga, fucking jerk, man, the fucking bird, man, fucking earth, all these motherfuckers get on my fucking nerves, bitch ass niggas. Whoa, oh, 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 Granger! And now, back to our regularly scheduled program. Now, we back here on the earth, Birdman, like, well, if I sat up here and said what my name is, Birdman, and that I killed, draw man of the nigga, brother, then some motherfucker should show the fuck up, right? That's logic. That logic says if I call out a nigga and call him a bitch on universal television, this nigga will come and face me itself. That just seemed to make sense. Or at least somebody high ranking to come face me. Fuck is you. I ain't, look. I, I'm, I'm, I'm not sorry, but you a bitch. So, ain't no real niggas coming today. You facing me. What my name is, I don't know, because I'm unimportant to the fucking plot, and you'll destroy me later, but it don't matter. I'm going to whoop your ass. So, fights. Fighty, fight, fight, though. Fighty, fighty, fight, though. I'm like, yo. You know what I'm saying? Like, if this is what they going to deliver to me, Birdman, what my name is, then I'm going to whoop your ass. So, I'm going to whoop your ass. So why, so why Birdman whooping this small fry nigga ass who don't matter who will get destroyed at the end of the episode because that's how fucking, that's how fucking Sentai's work for fucking over fucking 40 fucking years is whoop his ass. The squad show up, Birdman, what the fuck is you niggas doing here? Um, we here to do our job. We here to make sure we got customers to sell lean to. And by the fucking way, you fucking pussy ass bitch, where the fuck that recipe for that fucking rainbow lean you promised me, nigga? I don't owe you shit, nigga. Yeah, you do. You said you were going to deliver that shit on that motherfucking shit, and you're going to do that shit on the motherfucking shit on my mom. I said it's on site when I see you, nigga, but unfortunately, I'm busy right now. I ain't talking out of what I said, but I got more important business to handle. You a bitch, Birdman. When I see you on site, I'm going to whoop your motherfucking ass. Just on site ain't right now because I got to save these customers because we need somebody to sell lean to. And if you don't give me the recipe for that fucking rainbow lean you said you fucking had from 300 fucking years ago, I'm going to whoop your motherfucking ass. Damn, little nigga, you talk a lot of shit, partner. You talk a lot of motherfucking shit for your bitch ass, nigga. You know what I'm saying? You know what? You you go do that. I mean, you if you want to go say the customers on the lean or whatever, just just go, just go do that. I, I I don't have time. I don't have time for your shit. You know, I'm just gonna sit up here, man. Fucking, I'm finna shit. Well, uh oh, here comes a new challenger. <laughs> Are you ready to face space? And of course, that new challenger is Tetchy. What's up? Hey, I'm Tetsu. How's everybody doing today? Everybody fine? Hey, look, I'm Tetsu, and it's very wonderful to meet all of you. See, this is what's going to happen. See, I had this fucking mace on my fucking right arm, or my left, I don't know, because I don't know my, I don't know my left or my right, dog. I'm just a monster. You know, I'm just a high-ranking monster that's going to whoop your motherfucking ass, so this is what's going to happen. I'm going to whoop your motherfucking ass. And then I'm going to whoop your ass and 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 your ass. And, and I'm going to kill all you motherfuckers because you know y'all just human. So if I smash you with a motherfucking mace, you just going to fucking splatter all over the fucking place. So it's cool. So, again, my name is Tetsu. It is very nice to meet you. It's all good. Don't worry about it. L let's just, you know, let's just get to this. And, and I'm going to whoop your ass. So, at this point... Tetsu drops out the sky. The nigga puts his quarter in the fucking machine. Here comes a new motherfucking challenger. Every motherfucker shook. Everybody like, where the fuck this nigga come from? Every motherfucker is shook, even Birdman, because Birdman sits up here, and what is probably going to be a thing, well, I don't know how long it's going to be a thing, given how this episode how this episode came together, but he sits up here and mentioned like, I remember you from somewhere. Like, nigga, don't I know you? Hey, ain't your mama named Tina? No, sir, I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> That's not what actually happened, but, you know, in a real-life situation, like, yo, ain't you teening them cousin? That, That's what the fuck that scene was. You teening them cousin? Tina. <laughs> Tina. So, you know what I'm saying? So, it's like, 
after after Tetsu enters and all this stuff is happening, it's like you got Lucky still mumbling on his breath how he wants to kill Birdman and that and shank this nigga eye style in his fucking sleep. He like we just need to get the niggas up out of here. Like, won't you help us get the niggas up out of here? No, 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 no. Let mom bless. See, look, let, let me let me rap with you, little homie. Look, see, I'm the greatest of all time. But what my name is, Birdman. That's me. I don't give a fuck about shit. I. Right? It's fuck you. It's fuck all y'all, and it definitely fuck y'all because y'all ain't shit, nigga. I'm immortal. I'm the greatest of all time. Woo, but see, that's me. I'm like all them grace. I'm, I'm like you could call me ravishing Birdman, nigga. It's like shit. You call me ravishing Otori Sarugi, and, and you wouldn't be lying. Look, fuck all y'all. See, the only thing I'm here to do is kill fucking Dora Maggi. I'm here to destroy Dark Matter. The fuck do it matter? What the fuck do it matter? That's just me. That's just what it is that I do. So, go fuck yourself. I have no time for this. What the fuck is wrong with you? What the fuck? I'm like, this is all the fuck you've been on the last three fucking episodes. This don't concern me. That's my problem. Legend, legend, legend. You sound like a bitch. Look here. When I see you next time, I'm going to stab you. I'm going to when you ain't looking. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna walk by, nigga. Put the shankity shank in you, and you gonna bleed out. Cause that's how much I don't like you. See, I don't even want to respect you by fighting you heads up. No, I'm just gonna walk by you and stab your ass. Cause you's a bitch. You's a bitch. You's a bitch. I, I, I can't deal with this. So get the fuck up out of here. Hey yo, y'all remember me? Yo, I'm telling you. Remember I put in a quarter. Here comes a new challenger. Oh, by the way, oh. Oh, Triple the Guys Bay just took a motherfucking air. Oops. I gotta go. Peace out. Yeah, so during all that arguing about them stabbing each other, um, Raptor Bay takes fucking Big Giant Mace to the fucking chest and it's really, really fucked up. I'd kiss it and make it better, but... Nah, I'd kiss it and make it better. That's what I do, because, you know... As a, as a loving boyfriend, that's what you do, you know what I'm saying? Well, as a loving technical gigolo, because me and Raptor Bay, we ain't got married yet, and I'm, I'm fucking a whole bunch of other, a whole bunch of other anime TV bitches. So, you know, I'm just being real, and I'm just letting you know that, yo, 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 this dick get it round. No, wait, no, hold up. That's the wrong reference. Hold up. No, no, wait. I get a ram, I get a ram, I get a ram, I get around. Y'all know shit about a living color. But, yeah, Raptor Bay takes a motherfucking L. Tetsu gets the fuck up out of there. And then we get more of Lucky complaining. And I've made this joke the whole time. So I won't subject you to it this time. But more or less what the next scene is, is that Raptor Bay sitting there. She holding this motherfucking L. Lucky is pissed off because it's fucking Birdman's fault. And legitimately, it is Birdman's fault that Raptor Bay took this fucking L because instead of, you know what I'm saying, the whole teamwork fucking thing and doing all that fucking shit, it's like, you don't care. But see, here's the thing. We talked about earlier with fucking Don Armage about infallibility, right? They are trying, They, they it's like... They tried to s- s- slyly introduce this infallibility in Birdman of he don't give a fuck. And it's like, it's one thing to not give a fuck and don't shit happen. It's another thing to not give a fuck in a state where you should be giving a fuck. And then understand it. And this, is, and this part is important as fuck. This part is important, right? Is... Introducing the infallibility and then there are consequences for it. Because, see, now you have to be responsible for your actions. So, because you didn't give a fuck, Raptor Bay took a fucking L. That's what the fuck this was. You know what I'm saying? It's like, and then on top of that, not only did he put Raptor Bay in danger, he put all the motherfucking customs for Lee. Because if, if fucking Tess was just walking around putting motherfucking quarters in the machine, he had to the new challenger and killing all your motherfucking customers. Who the fuck you going to sell Lee to? I'm just saying. So, like I said, it's like a lot of this episode has been introducing these infallibilities into these these two opposing forces in both Don Omaga and the Notorious Arugi. And I really like that. And I really just wanted to bring this up because I could have brought this up at the end of the episode. But I'm going to plop some real shit in the middle of this story just right fucking here for y'all motherfucking asses because I feel like it. So, what it is. So, 
Just again, just to make sure that we understand where we are in the story. Raptor Bay takes L. Lucky is pissed, wants to stab this nigga. I style. Birdman doesn't give a fuck. Lucky wants a reason why. And then Lucky was finna sit up here and go on this motherfucking word, but the squad pull him away. They like, nah, man, don't do it, cuz. It ain't worth it, fam. Man, fuck him, you bitch. I'm whooping on fucking ass. I'm whooping his ass. Not today, man. Let's just, let's just go. Let's just go, man. Let's just go. It's like, you know what I'm saying? Let's just go, man. I, I can't deal with this, man. Man, I'm gonna fuck him, man. Hey, man, you need to calm down, bro. What you mean? I'm like, this is what I need you to do. What my name is, Birdman. That's my name, Birdman. What I want you to do, I want you to do me a favor. I want you to become my shield. Become your what? Like, man, yo, when I roll with my squadron, nigga, we was mad deep, cuz. Nigga, all we did was did drive-bys on Dark Matter, nigga, shit. We so dope on their corners. We whooped they ass, nigga. We stomped them out, nigga, shit. Nigga, I come from Hamster Dam, bitch. Where you from, nigga? Hamster Dam? Nigga, my squadron, nigga, we ran that shit, nigga. And whenever my, my nigga was ready, nigga, my niggas was ready, nigga, to put in that work, nigga, shit. Nigga, blood in, blood out, my dude. We was ready to put it in. And that's what they did, though. The only way you fucking, you fucking lead the Q-Rangers, nigga... Is in a pine box, and I could have technically made that reference because the name of that gang in fucking Malibu Most Wanted is the Nines. See, and Q means nine and Jap. See, see, throwing it up on y'all ass. See, you, you ain't think I had it like that, but I do. But for real, Birdman goes into this motherfucking spiel about nigga. My squad took massive L's for me. That's what they did, and we got the job done. See. I, you can't fuck with me because I can't be killed and he goes on about this shit. But that's less important than the whole thing of more of that infallibility you are now introduced. We see now why this dude don't give a fuck. Because see, you was brought up you was brought up in this hero shit that you had motherfuckers willing to just take bullets for your motherfucking ass. And if a motherfucker sit up here and legitimately in their motherfucking conscience think they invincible, you got motherfuckers willing to motherfucking die for you, that'll give you some motherfucking messiah complex. And honestly, I really think that on some real shit, that's what we're dealing with in Notorious Arugi. But because this is a fucking kid show that fucking sells toys, it's not going to be for long. Because see... More of this stuff I should be saying at the end of the episode since we on this subject. Let's just say it now. This fucking headspace where Birdman's at right now. I give it five episodes tops. And then given the way Sentai works, you'll have a power up in there, some clusterfuck Zord. And that's part of all this because we got to sell toys because that's the most important thing we do here. That's what it's going to be. So... I, I, I don't expect him to be up his own ass forever. Because, see, you can't be up your own ass forever and then try to sell toys to the children because we need plot relevance to sell your fucking toys. Look at me. I'm smart as fuck, right? So, have I said everything that I needed to say? Let's see. Raptor Bay takes L. Birdman don't give a fuck. Birdman like, yo, y'all should take L's for me, Lucky. Like, fuck you. I'm going to stab your motherfucking ass when I see you. You know, nah, cuz don't do that shit and they bow the fuck out. You know what I'm saying? So they leave. So after all this discussion, we didn't talk about niggas head and shit. Lucky, look, they drag Lucky ass away because he like, nigga, if he two more motherfucking seconds, some of them going to get shot. It's going to be like, nigga, the basketball game, nigga. Man, that was a foul. Nah, nigga, shit, that was all ball, my nigga. What? Plow, nigga. That what the fuck was going to happen. I'm just saying. I'm... I'm saying, that's just what I'm saying, and if you want another story about that, you're not your boy. Anyway, after they leave, Birdman, like, man, he a little bitch, man. All he do is whine off at the moment. <laughs> Sound like a little bitch. You little bitch. Nigga, when I see him, I'm going to whoop his ass. Why would you do that? Because I'm going to whoop his ass. But, but he's what? He going to be unlucky when I uppercut that nigga in the fucking store, and that nigga lose his breath and fucking space, and his head explode fucking pussy. Anyway, we back on my motherfucking uncle and they found Eris. And Eris is willing to sit up here like and explain what the fuck is up with Birdman under one condition. There's a nice argument about why you don't call me no more? I let you have my motherfucking wet wet and you don't even call me back. Baby, I broke my phone and I lost your number. I said, you lying ass motherfucker! You get on my nerves! I gave you everything! I gave you everything! Oh, I'm sorry, baby. I, I get a little emotional. 
I understand, girl. Hey, give me your new number, and I'm going to put it on my phone, okay? Put that bitch number in my phone. Okay. So, meanwhile, we zoom back down to the earth, and Birdman does what he does, and he fixes Raptor Bay because, you know, he technically built Raptor Bay through some weird fucking, you know, time fuckery or whatever. And now... We get the fucking backstory you've all been waiting for because while Eris is telling his backstory, Raptor Bay asked Birdman what the story is. Let me give you the 411. Number one, Eris confirms everything that fucking Birdman says is true. This nigga's fucking invincible. He can't be killed. He a legend. He was the first Q Ranger. All this old motherfucking crazy shit. We even get some more deeper backstory. If this nigga fucking roll 88 fucking deep, this nigga became Space Trump, uh, 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 fucking got the fucking, got all the Q range 88 deep, and motherfuckers was sitting up here, and they took the, and they took the fight to Don on my guy and drop mad of the niggas, dog. They took the fight to the ass. But, yeah, but even though you take the fight to these niggas, how the fuck is this nigga still alive? It was seen that they failed in doing that. That, that's the part we get to at the end, but we just don't skip to that point for, for the sake of brevity here. Is that Birdman had the squadron, did everything. He even you he we even found out that when he absorbed the power of the Holocutama, it gave him fucking immortality. But allegedly he drained a whole bunch of his power and tried to use it against Dark Matter and still fucking failed. During this, we have Birdman telling the story to fucking Raptor Bay and Sandy JR, and we find out this other fucking magical important thing. This dude has been an asshole the whole time for a legitimate fucking concern and reason, because here's his legitimate concern and reason. If I was 88 deep, I'm fucking immortal. I got all the motherfucking cards, and I still can't fucking run the table? What motherfucking make you think you 11 motherfuckers can? So he's sitting up here saying this not as a motherfucking dish shot or anything. He's saying this with legitimate fucking concern that, well, um, yeah, I don't think y'all can do it. And not that y'all can't do it, but if y'all try, you're going to end up like every motherfucking body else. And I don't want that. And I'm not saying that that I give a fuck about y'all, but the 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 quick the quicker we can get Shark Matter off the fucking picture, I can kill Don Omarge for real, real and not for play play. The better wall be, and that's why I'm willing to fucking take shortcuts. I'm willing to sacrifice humans, do whatever the fuck it take. Fucking get him up, get my motherfucking wife killed, and all this old shit. Whatever, as long as Dark Matter and fucking Don Omarge and all his old motherfucking niggas are gone, I don't fucking give a shit. And that's fair. That's, as a motherfucker in his position, I'm willing to, as a character, as a character trait, and as something that drives the character, I'm willing to give him that. Because that makes sense. Eris, however, then chimes in on the side like, if Birdman and Mr. L can get along, they may be able to wipe out fucking Don Omega and Dark Matter for fucking good. And it's like, well, yeah, that's of course what's going to fucking happen. You know, unless some motherfucker else gets right a chick through the fucking chest. But still, you get my point. Lucky, of course, because he's on this stabby, stabby rampage of fuck Birdman, fuck Dark Matter. I'm not putting Eris' number in my fucking telephone. Fuck him. Fuck that. Fuck being a shield. He can kiss my motherfucking space ass. I ain't got time for this shit. I'm going to put that nigga in the house and I'm going to set that nigga on fire, nigga, so he know my mama and daddy felt, nigga. I'm a fucking goon, bitch. Fuck him. Fuck him. I'm a goon. You say what's a goon to a goblin, nigga? What's goon to what's got goblin to being lucky? Fuck all y'all. I ain't dealing with this shit. I'm off this motherfucker. I ain't got time for this shit. Here comes a new challenger. Again. Well, not really, because that let that no that monster for earlier, he down on the motherfucking earth sitting up here knocking on motherfucking cars and fucking knocking them away and making fucking explosions and shit. I don't know, he on the earth, y'all might want to do something about that. So I like to thank you for coming to story time with the one and the only path to L about somebody's fucking backstory. But you know we gotta sell these motherfucking toys. So won't y'all go down there on the motherfucking earth and go put in some motherfucking work. So 
We back on the earth and we got this nigga sitting there. We got this little York Matter nigga sitting up here knocking shit up. And he sits up here and says the most, the gangsta shit this whole episode. All I want is money, cash, hoes, and food. I said money twice because it is what it is. I want some hoes, nigga, and I want some sushi. He said sushi, but we just going to say food in general because, you know what I'm saying, we not four kids here. We not going to fucking change your fucking rice ball into a fucking hamburger. But shit, why fucking have one thing when you can add a whole smorgasbord, my dude? Man, I ain't been to a buffet in Hellas. I really need to go to a buffet when I get my check. Note to self, go to buffet when I get paid. Period. So I'm just going to put that one in my head, rub it in there, and we're going to do that. So, little dark matter nigga, like, yo, I demand respect, money, cash, hoes, food, let's run the motherfucking table. Um, Birdman, um, my wifey and fucking Sandy JR show up, and they start whooping ass, and then the rest of the squad show up, and then, and here, and here is exactly what the fuck was going to happen. Lucky like, nigga, I heard your story. I heard you got bitched out by fucking jerk matter. I heard you sat up her, you put in all the work, and you the fucking failure. <laughs> like, what you mean? I'm like, from, from my understanding of what your story was, you had a squad of 88 niggas. You tried to roll up on jerk matter. You gave you use all your fucking power, and this nigga still alive. Hmm, sound like you fucked up to me, pal. So see, now, I don't need to fucking shank you or uppercut you in the face because all the fuck you've been doing while you've been laying in a motherfucking tube in 300 years is holding a ginormous, massive fucking L. See, the L you held was so massive, nigga. You almost died. They put your ass in a motherfucking test tube like frosty fucking Futurama because you the bitch. See, I feel better about myself now. Because, see, I done took some massive L's over the span of 23 fucking episodes of fucking television. But ain't no motherfucker took a massive L like your bitch ass. I can sleep well at night. I can sleep well at night knowing that all that your whole existence, that you sat up here and took W's all day, and then took a massive fucking L that canceled all your motherfucking W's, and then left a problem for us to solve. I feel better. See, I can breathe a sigh of relief knowing that you is a bitch. Okay. That's fair. I, I don't quite fucking see it that way. But that's a fair assessment. I'll take it. I, I'll take it. I'll take that. But what is you saying? What you saying you can do it by your motherfucking self, nigga? Because if I couldn't do it, what make you think you can? Well, truth is, family, nigga, I ain't by myself, nigga. I got my squad with me, nigga. We ride together. We die together, nigga. Q ranges for life, pussy. Get down with the team, dog. See, hear what it is you don't understand. You have motherfuckers jumping in front of you talking about shields. Y'all want a squad, though. Y'all wasn't united. They believed in you, but you didn't believe in them, and that's why you failed. That's why you failed. But see, my squad, though. We gonna fucking get rid of Jark Matter. I'ma cut the head off of Don Armaga and I'ma hang it on my motherfucking trophy case. But I'ma do it with my squad with my back. They don't stand behind me, they stand beside me. That's the difference between you and me. Maybe when you fucking learn that lesson in a couple of fucking episodes, we get a cluster fuck Zord and I get a new fucking power because that's how fucking Sentai work. Maybe you'll understand. But for right now, I know all this shit is going over your motherfucking head and it's cool, cuz. So how about it? You know what? I'm feeling you, man. I'm feeling you. But that's a lot of talk. Show me what you got. She, she, cute, Tama! Days are changing, you know, it's, it's popping off. Come on, the change! Oh, yeah. and, they, and they sit up her and they put in work. Meanwhile, in, in the joke that I sat up her, the one joke that I actually prepared for this review of this episode, we got Tetsu up in the cut. He got a metal, he got a metal death worm. So this nigga been up here, this nigga been up here in a cut this whole time where everybody be getting their ass beating shit, raising Pokemon. So who the fuck did he trade the fucking regular death worm holding that metal coat to that then get his fucking that metal death worm back? 
Fun fact, one of my favorite Pokemon is Scizor and, and Scyther in general, but my favorite Pokemon, nigga, I'm an I'm a Arcanine fan. I'm like Gen 1, Gen 1 classic shit. I'm like, Primarina is bae, but, you know, that's another thing. I'm like, we 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 could get into the Gardevoir thing. We really could really get into that if that's what the fuck you really want to do. Bray Bray is bae bae. I'm, I'm like, oh. So, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You really didn't need to hear, uh, No! No, 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 no. We, we're not going to talk about my central track of the fan, the Braxian. No, 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 no. Braxian Hentai. Did that dude who won Pokemon Tournament, get that man Braxian Hentai because we all get Braxian Hentai. So, that that's it. That That's it. Primarina, best new Pokemon. Let Brax. Look, Arcanine, I always want to ride on the back of an Arcanine and tell it to fucking shoot fly, to, to set shit on fire. We on fire. Up in here, I got Arca 9, it's on fire, use fire blast, burn down the hood, it's in this spot, it's on fire, I'ma tear the roof off this motherfucker, I'ma light the roof on fire, oh nigga, what is it, look, um, shout out to, shout out to motherfucking Lloyd Banks, you know what, one of these days me and Jay, well I actually want to play with him, is we gonna play 50 Cent Blood on the Sand, I, I, that game is really fucking better than it ever gets credit for, but anyway, um, Pokemon joke, something about Brexian Hentai, something about Gardevoir, Primarina, you know, stuff. Baby! Okay, anyway. What happens next? Oh, yeah, um, that usual thing where, you know, where people talk shit and then the squads team up and put in work. So, we got fucking Bird, we got fucking, we got what my name is, Birdman, and Mr. L, they putting in work, and we got the rest of the squad over here. Nigga, who was the rest of the squad, nigga? Fucking, fucking Woof Woof, Cutie Hammy, and, of course, Raptor Bay and Sanji Jr. So, they put in work, and they all did, Cute time out, we, we, Lou, Okami Blue, and all that those shit. Why she pink? Why she she pink? You know what I'm saying? Don't let me yellow. Chameleon green and all that. They did that. And then they, they put in work. They they did I'll start crashing and, and fucking hit whole whole endo. And then they put in work. Congratulations. Now there's the words. Time to sell toys. Hey yo, Shin Ron Perk, bring your punk ass down here. Hey yo. Hey yo, everybody call me and sell bird. And sell fucking Uncle Jesse, dog. <laughs> Uncle Jesse, he's dead. <laughs> You can't bring the soul of that nigga with you. So you stay on the motherfucking ship too, fucking Uncle Stinger. Like, damn. Like, this nigga been on punishment since he got back, dog. I'm like, this nigga on mad punishment for betraying niggas, dog. This nigga on fucking, this nigga on mad punishment, dog. I'm hella dead, dude. How you on mad punishment? I'm just fucking done. Mad punishment, dog. <laughs> anyway, we, we, got a, we got a Zord fight because, you know, we got to sell these motherfucking toys and shit. You know what I'm saying? So, of course, the day is saved thanks to the pop up girl. Bubbles is the best as I thought y'all knew this already. Um, Raptor Bay uh, attached the fucking Zord to the back of the fucking Zord and flew. So, it was just like, okay. You know what I'm saying? We still haven't found out what that launcher thing does for fucking, ho- um, for fucking, um, Giganto Phoenix. Giganto Hole. I gotta catch that mon, mon, dude. Th- never mind. See, Pokemon things in her. So, they win. See, I, they, they didn't do nothing special. John, fuck you lasers and things like that. It's a, it's a fucking Megazord fight. What do you want? Win. Perfecto. Well, not really, but you get it. So, we get back on the ship, and um, and they still questioning this nigga. Not questioning this nigga, just as like, yo, if this nigga, if, if this, if this nigga the truth, we need that nigga. And the lucky, of course, nigga, even though he just fought the nigga like two seconds ago, fuck his bitch ass. We don't need shit. You know what I'm saying? They like, we need this nigga. Well, we don't need this nigga, but it's like if he want to get down with us and work together with a team, he can get down with us. But nigga, he not going to let that nigga dictate what we do. You know what I'm saying? So, fuck his bitch ass, but nigga, if you want to get down with the team, nigga, I ain't going to say nah, nigga. It is what it is. Meanwhile, we back down on the motherfucking earth, nigga. Sandy Jr. nigga making some motherfucking curry, nigga. And Birdman likes curry. I'm like, I had curry once. It was really good. I'm like, it was like some spice. It was like some spicy chicken curry. That shit was mad fire. That shit was mad fire, dog. I'm just saying. And now the end of the episode. So. A lot of the stuff that I was going to have for the end of the episode, we talked about in the middle about, we talked about at the beginning with the, with the fallibilities of fucking, of fucking Donald Margay, the, 
the infallibilities of fucking a fucking Birdman and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? These are going to be interesting things because again, like I said, he's not gonna have his own. He's not gonna have Birdman. Not gonna have his head up his own ass forever because we need to sell a fucking toy. That's just what the fuck is going down. So once they sit up and get along and shit, cluster fuck Zord cometh. New power ups cometh because that is what we gotta do to sell the toy to the little children of Japan. This man. So that's it for me. I- I'm not gonna hold. I'm not gonna hold y'all any longer. We'll be back a little bit later today with the exando, so we can get caught up and everything. And it's like I do apologize. You know what I'm saying? I'm like. You know, I do apologize. Like, you know, because I understand that, you know, while I do this for my own entertainment and do this because, you know, I want to talk about something I love. I know the streets love it, too. You know what I'm saying? And it's like sometimes schedule gets in the way, but you got to get the job done after you get the job done. So, like I said, we'll be back later with that XA work. So be expecting that. Um, there's some other work I got to catch up on. I got Saturday work that I haven't done. There's a whole bunch of My Little Pony shit I got to do. So I'll be doing that a little bit later today. No later than Monday, but hopefully by the end of the day. And then, you know, and then you know we start our week off the way we usually start our week off, you know what I'm saying, on Tuesday with Power and Game of Thrones. So be watching for that. And I, and like I said, I'm in a motherfucking lab- laboratory cooking in this work. So, you know, it is what it is with that. So please be staying tuned for all of that. Oh, we gonna go in. We gonna get up out of here. You know who it is. It's the one and the only, the triple, the G O D A K A, Pastor L, live from the synagogue, delivering you from these L's and showing you how these L's get delivered. Please, on your way out, please leave your money with the Pope with the collection plate. Cause yo, we trying to build up that church, baby, baby. For real, seriously, y'all. Thank y'all for coming through, kicking it with your boy for a little bit. Like I said, I'm like, yo, we we have we have we having we have another we have another another sermon later today. So be sure to be watching for that. Again, you know what it's the one the only the trip with a G O D. And I'd like to thank you for joining me for another installment. What's your boy the guy speaks on? And with that being said, come on the change it. <laughs>